Yo, what is up everybody? Jumping here on today. I want to talk about some secrets I found in the Trespasser DLC for Dragon Age Inquisition. Now, two of these secrets will lead you to schematics that you can then use the golden nug to transfer to new files or other files, and it's well worth doing. Now, the first secret I'm going to talk about are these crooked paintings you can find. I don't know if these will lead you to a schematic, but I found five so far, and I know that they give you plus two strength for every one you find. And I would think that five might be the limit because, I mean, that is ten strength. That's a lot. The first one's right here. So all you got to do is interact with it and you'll get plus two strength. There's two more you can find where you find the first mirror. All you got to do is climb up here and you can find them. They're two giant paintings. So you really can't miss them. And, of course, you can get them when you go up there for the first time probably. Now, the next painting is going to be in the tavern. It's over here. It's the lady... So if you interact with that, you'll get plus two strength. The final one is by Vivian. It's in the baths. So I'll show you where that is in a moment. But I'm going to talk about something else real quick. You can also find some treasures. Now when you go into the first mirror, you will find like a treasure map. And then you'll have to go and look for some treasures. And they're actually really easy to find if you just look at the map. But the first one is going to be over here. You'll find it by this statue. The second one is going to be in the main courtyard area. It's going to be by these griffins or whatever they are. I think they're griffins. The next one is going to be behind the area where Vivian is. I'll show you where you can find the other painting real quick. It's in the baths. It's right here somewhere. I believe it's right there. There it is. It's this man. That will be crooked, so if you interact with that, you'll get plus two strength. You also get cunning for finding all the treasures. The next treasure is going to be up top over here, and you're going to have to cross this bridge to find it. But it's going to be somewhere up here. Now, I really don't remember exactly if this is right, so I might be wrong on this, but I'm pretty confident this is right. It's going to be somewhere up here, so just look for it. I think it's in the middle. The final one is going to be over by where my objective is right now now one last thing i want to talk about and this is extremely annoying but it does lead to a schematic i don't know how good the weapon is though so i don't know it might be worth it it might not be worth it but it is really annoying you have to find spies okay the final treasure i believe is up here and this will get you the schematic it should be like right in this area now these spies are really annoying because you have to sneak up behind them and I tried a lot of different things like sneaking, walking really slowly up behind them. That seemed to work somewhat, but a lot of times I would be right behind them and they would just disappear. Okay, so it's really dumb and annoying, but it is worth it because you will get a schematic. You have to find five of them. It took me about an hour to get them all because so many of them would just disappear and it was super annoying. So you need to figure out like how to approach them properly. Like normally you might see them really far away and then you can try to figure out a way to get behind them and then sneak up on them. And if you get too close or if you're in front of them, they will disappear. And sometimes, like I said, they will disappear even when you're right behind them. It makes no damn sense. And it's really, really annoying. Anyway, so that that is basically the three secrets I found to get the plus two strength, to get the plus two dexterity, because finding the spies will get you plus two dexterity and a schematic, and finding all the treasures will get you cunning. I think it was just one cunning, and it will also get you a schematic. Also, you can collect dog bones. Those you just have to find scattered around, and if you find all the dog bones, you will get a really cool weapon. And you will also get plus one constitution for each one that you turn into the dog. Now, I'm going to actually show you this weapon because, I mean, this weapon is super good. It basically is the best staff in the game. And that says a lot because there was already a lot of really good staffs in the game. Now, the old best staff was the Staff of Corruption. I mean, this thing was godly. This new one is called Encore. And the reason why this is so good is because it has a bonus buff on hit chance to sing an offensive buff for allies within eight meters that is really good but besides that you can put critical hit damage on it which is nice attack on it which is nice and the main thing that makes this better than the staff of corruption is the fact that you can actually put upgrades on it you can put 
a blade and a grip on it to add more effects. If you want to put critical hit chance, you can do that. More critical hit damage, whatever you're looking for, you can do. So this staff is really good. And remember, with the two schematics, you can actually transfer them over to other files by just using the golden nug. That's one of the coolest things that they added in. So I'm going to actually show you this other weapon real quick, just so you can see this thing. I don't know if it's good. I haven't tested it yet, but it's under staffs, but it's not a staff. I believe it's like a lightsaber or something because there is no blade. It says that it can only get up to 83 damage. If I put dragon bones or at least highlight dragon bones, it goes up to 85 damage. It also gets elemental damage, which is interesting for a one handed weapon. And you can put things like strength and constitution on it. It is a one handed sword, so it's meant for a warrior, but it is really interesting. So I need to try that out. I know the DPS is really low, but I would imagine that that thing is probably going to be really godly. I did make it. It didn't have a bonus buff. I thought it would have some type of like hidden bonus buff, but yeah, I'm not sure yet. All right, guys. Well, that's going to pretty much do it. Those are the four secrets that I know of. I guess the dog bones really can't count as a secret. Same with the treasures. They're really not all that secret. But you should totally find the treasures because that is how you're going to get this amazing schematic for Encore. I really hope this video has helped. If it has, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to subscribe. And I really hope that everyone has a very nice day. And poo so.